skill books, and this is what's making me do all this damage right here. I have the shield reflection. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? DJ Shrek here, and we're going to be jumping into the blazing battlefield as usual. I usually like going into here, mostly because I'm farming for dim books, but as you guys can see, we are not using one of my normal characters, obviously. We are using my guardian, and, you know, I should, I should start by saying... You know, Guardian is notoriously bad at PvE. I, I've said that before. I still stand by that. However, a lot of you guys have seen some videos on Guardians that are absolutely overpowered. Probably the strongest PvE class. So th those are two conflicting statements, obviously. So I'm going to show you guys uh, kind, of, kind of why that's possible. Quite frankly, I still stand by it. Guardian is shit tier in PvE. Unless you get the skill books for him and as you guys can see um, I am decimating everything because I have the skill books that everybody's mentioning and everybody's seen in the videos um, so I'll quickly showcase them right now after this wave here uh, as to what is actually making me super beefed man but uh, I should also mention that my gear right now is my epic gear but uh, that's that's actually a little bit misleading because the epic gear actually doesn't... It's not necessary. It's not actually making me that much stronger in this region. The only reason I have it on right now is because it's actually water damage. And it's the only weapon I have right now that's water damage. But you can do this, if not more damage, with some perfects because they have damage to region. So, anyway guys, look at this fucker. I'm trying to talk here. Okay, thank you. Anyway guys, I have a full skill book uh, effect with level 60 skill books and this is what's making me do all this damage right here I have the shield reflection this is the best book on the guardian probably in the game because uh, it does two attacks and as you guys can see I can wipe out everything Titans Guardian I picked up in extreme mode so I got pretty lucky with this one three stars uh, this is like my weakest one shield bash but it's actually really good because it can proc the skill set effect which I'll go over in a second and I have this awesome breakneck charge book which is my only five star book I think I have so I got really lucky there. Breakneck Charge is an awesome skill because it lets you cancel into the Shield Reflection. And Shield Blast, I don't even have that skill because I'm PvP build, but I have it for the skill book effect. And finally, Titan Strength, which gives me Elemental Resistance. Not important, but again, needed for the skill reset. So, as you guys can see right there, I just utilize Breakneck Charge into the Shield Reflection. That's a combo that is basically killing hella mobs. Forgot to mention, the skill book effects start getting really epic after... Uh, Three, which is what I have right now. My attack power goes up by 25%. That like total attack power. I, I can I try to make it proc right there. It proc right there. I just got 1,000 damage because of that. So uh, basically, if you use a skill book effect or a skill book skill, like any of them, shield bash for instance, uh, the breakneck charge, any of my skill book skills, it has a chance of procking 30% chance of giving me 25% damage for I think 20 something seconds. So. Uh, no slouch right there. I, I think that's probably why this class is so good because you can have these buffs last or skill book effects last for a very long time. And right now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Wham! Okay, just killed everything. And right now that mob is all the way down there. I don't know why I left them there. But uh, as I mentioned, guys, you like I said, you do not have to have an epic item like I do. Again, you just you can even rock these. I'll, I'll, I'll do that now. My, these are not as strong, obviously. I have a lot less damage, but they have damage to region. The 12% right there, and then this one also, another 12%. And that isn't on the epic items or the unique items. So that is part of the reason why a lot of people, if they're farming Sarah at least, they're using, you know, regular perfect weapons. And right now, my perfects aren't actually... They don't have any elements on them, and that's why I'm not doing very much damage. Again, that's why I was using the uniques earlier. So, uh... It's totally possible. Now, if you don't have the skill books, like I just mentioned, that is basically the only way you're going to be doing any kind of damage at all. If you're in here without that, then you're going to be getting your ass kicked. I mean, you will not do any damage. And these guys will be nigh impossible to kill because of, the, because of it. I mean, if I use anything but those two skills, I mean, it takes a long time. Titan's Guardian is actually really strong, and 
I I didn't want it. To, oh shit! I didn't want to. Say, yeah, damn it! I didn't want to say it here, but I am planning on actually going into a PVE build, so I want to try it out at least, getting a full skill set effect with proper build, you know. So, uh, why am I being so impatient? Oh shit! But, uh, yeah, no, we're gonna see the devastation when we fight some, like, bosses. I've already shown you against the green mobs, which, in my opinion, are probably the strongest mobs. Stronger than the bosses, but I will show you after this, uh, this guy right here, which is the easier of the two orange mobs you could get here. I am just comboing the shit out of him with, like, PvP combos right now. <laughs> but, uh, these skills, man, these skills... Actually, the skill book effect is what's making this so awesome. I hate, I just want to mention, I hate these fucking scorpions now. Ever since they changed it, I hate the scorpions in this game. Because they waste my time. That's what it is. They go into hiding, you have to wait till they come back out. That kind of thing. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I have been careless as fuck. I am just tanking everything. I don't, I don't really care. I don't take very much damage right now. That's part of the reason why Guardian is so good. Because unlike all of the other melee classes, Guardian seems to be unaffected by the by the patch in terms of mob difficulty. I mean, I'm not taking any hits at all from anything. So even the boss, I can pretty much stand right in front of him. So, oh shit! Whoa! Turn it around, and he's running away right now. Can utilize the Titan's Guardian after this, but. As you guys can see, it's I'm just whittling away with at his health and hitting with my strong skills. As you guys can see, you can also stun him with the skills. I think it has a 100% stun if you have the rare book. So, a um, friend of mine actually has the perfect book for this skill, the shield reflection, and that actually hits three times, rotates three times. Right here, I rotate twice. If you get the perfect book, it rotates three times and does more damage. I was like, oh my god. So, I mean. That's that's another thing you, you really have to shoot for. That's why I'm farming this so much is because you can actually get the perfect books that will make this class absolutely Im impossible strong. So obviously I'm not as geared as I could be. The next set effect, if I can get five more stars amongst my skill books, is attack power plus 50%. Which, by the way, that is stacking. Um, this 25% is different from the 50%. So I think you can stack them together to be a total of 75% extra damage. Uh from two different skill book effects just by utilizing some of your your skill book skills and like I said the one of the best ones to have is the shield bash because it has such a low cooldown you can proc like so many different things at once I don't know if anybody's realized but the threatening shout has been significantly buffed in PvE it does like more damage than my earthquake now which is ridiculous but there you go, they, they buffed that up. I had it but leveled up to max because of PvP, but... And we got a dimensional fissure. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well, I'll show you guys how I, I can handle it temporarily. Quite frankly, I'm only in Fury right now, and I don't think I just have the deeps to do it. Unless I just wait for my cooldown on Titan's Guardian a whole bunch of times. So, uh, I'll just show you while I'm in Fury utilizing this how fast it is. And it is possible. I think I might be going into Ultimate Fury, maybe right here. Yeah, I want to go into Ultimate Fury because I want to see if I can take this guy out. Now, the good thing about Guardian is that he can take hits, like I said, and taking hits are actually a really great way of generating fury. Oh, okay, was able to break that. This this Ultimate Fury, in comparison to the skills I have now, are probably even weaker than that. Like. My shield reflection especially is stronger than this ultimate fury, which is surprisingly awesome. Come on, break it! Oh shit. Yep. That's the problem. That's the problem, guys. Okay. And right now, I think I'm, I'm screwed. I, I don't think I have enough deeps to, to break the shield. We can try it. Titan's Guardian. Okay, Titan's Guardian is a great way to break the shield. Like, it usually breaks it. After that, I don't have much damage, man. Get the shield reflection in there. I'm doing pretty well right now, but again, this is this is about the time where I'm going to have to use, like, either Fury Pots or something because... Or just wait until I get, like, Titan's Guardian. 
But I don't know guys, I was able to show off a little bit of that. I'm gonna bring in my another character to help me out on this, so. But dang, well, what do we get guys? We got Aggressive Press Kick 1. That is actually a warrior book, so. Anyway guys, thanks for what or is it a warrior book? Pretty sure it's a warrior book. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. There was a little bit of Guardian and then Solo Duo action. And I will catch you guys later. There will be more PvE on Guardian. Maybe with a, with a new build. Just saying. Okay, see ya.